Assalamu alaikum. I welcome you to Special Education with Hamid Nakvi. Today, the topic which we are going to discuss is audiovisual aids. AV aids maintain a high level of interest in the lesson and a proper use of AV aids promote greater student participation and the teacher learning process as a whole is very effective. We already know that the students learn 10% of what they read and 20% of what we, uh, they hear and 30% of what they see. 50% of what they see and hear and 80% of what they experience. So that uh, speaks volumes about the importance of appropriate, proper use of aviates. Let's see what aviates are. According to Burton, audiovisual aids are those sensory objects or uh, images which initiate and stimulate and reinforce learning. As the name implies, there can be three types of aviates. That is, first one, audio aids. Audio aids involve the sense of hearing. And uh, the examples are radio, tape recorder, gramophone, etc. And as the very name indicates, audio aids are instructional devices that can be heard but not seen. Second type of uh, uh, AV aids are visual aids. The aids which use sense of vision are called visual aids. For example, actual objects, models, pictures, charts, maps, flashcards, flannel board, bulletin board, chalkboard, overhead projector, slides, etc. Out of these, blackboard and chalks are the commonest ones. Visual aids, as the name indicates, uh, is any instructional device that can be seen but cannot be heard. Now the third is combined audio plus visual aid. The aids which it involve the sense of vision as well as hearing are called audio-visual aids. For example, TV, we can see, we can hear, film projector and film strips, uh, strips etc. Now, types of AV aids, uh, a broad uh, classification is that there are um, AV aids which are electric, there are AV aids which are non-electric. For instance, books, handouts, chalk and board, uh, non-keens, models, flip ch charts, they are non-electric. Whereas um, the overhead projector, slide projector, PowerPoint slides uh, used in computers, uh, they, they are the types of uh, electric aviators. Now, what are the characteristics of a good teaching aid? A uh, few characteristics which we all uh, should know. They should be meaningful and purposeful. They should be accurate in every aspect. They should be simple. They should be cheap. They should be improvised as far as possible. And they should be large enough to be properly seen by the students. They should be up to date. They should be easily portable. They should be according to the mental level of the students. They should motivate the learners. Very simple state. I don't think they need any explanation. Now, here I am going to give you some ideas how to make uh, some uh, aviators. Now, this is the first one. The teacher is, uh, the topic uh, teacher te uh, going to teach is parts of speech. And this is one of the initial topics which he is going to, uh, initial periods which he is going to take. 
So uh, you see this, here is a trunk or a stem. On this uh, stem, parts of speech is written. Now, these uh, branches are not attached to it. They are not printed with it. They are, these branches are uh, separate. And after the exercise, they would be attached. Well, you can see uh, when the, uh, this trunk would be put up there, the students would be eager to know what all is going to come and uh, get atta attached with their stem. So here comes first uh, branch that is known. And we cannot read it because it, uh, the fonts are uh, uh, too small. But uh, the uh, students would be able to uh, read it if it, uh, it is on the chart and it is big enough. Uh, the, the first is known and the small definition of uh, two-liner uh, definition of known is given here. So first uh, the trunk is pasted here. Then comes the noun and it is stuck with it. Then comes the interjection, it is stuck with it, with the, with the brief uh, uh, definition. Then comes pronoun uh, with a brief uh, definition. Then comes conjunction and the students are eager to know what is coming next. And it looks beautiful also, attractive also. They are inquisitive also. And here come uh, adjectives. Then come uh, uh, proposition then adverb and then verb so uh, this uh, exercise can be gone, uh, done again again there the branches can be dismantled and the students are uh, allowed to come and uh, put uh, the branches again with it after uh, giving the de definitions and names of the parts of speech that would be an interesting activity this was one uh, suggestion. Now, this idea can uh, be used uh, elsewhere also. Uh, they say this is uh, in, uh, this topic was parts of speech. If there's some other topic, you can uh, trunk and branches concept can be used in other uh, cases as well, very effectively, according to the need of the, the that uh, uh, subject. Then the second idea I am going to give of making a um, ABA is discrimination between noun and uh, adjectives is being uh, taught junior classes and uh, the idea of uh, this uh, ABA is pocketing. See this. Anybody uh, for this uh, no no fine arts is required. Any person who has a scissor in hand and can draw a little bit, here is a t-shirt you may call. This is a t-shirt. This is cut hard hard paper is used. Yellow hard paper is used. It is cut and then a pocket is stuck onto it. A top uh, pocket is stuck onto it. Similarly, another uh, T-shirt uh, is cut and uh, a pocket is stuck here and uh, adjective is written here. All right. And now what happens? You uh, uh, make small uh, stickers like, uh, on which uh, nouns and adjectives are written, such as fancy, skirt, jogging, the party and uh, many more warm cold whatever now the uh, children after uh, being in a given introductory talk about nouns and adjectives are told to select nouns and put it in this pocket and select adjectives and put it in this pocket that would be a fun for them an activity for them and uh, very useful the, the, the this uh, idea uh, you see this? The, they have uh, started uh, putting in adjectives, uh, fancy hair, skirts hair, and uh, then uh, 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 is, uh, this idea uh, can uh, be used uh, for other uh, uh, subjects as well, where you can, this is the, uh, known as pocket uh, idea. So you can uh, make stickers and uh, those stickers. Uh, second is that you can uh, uh, exercise uh, 
is, um, give the exercise to the students to join the adjectives and nouns appropriate fancy skirt for instance you can place fancy hair skirt hair well uh, then you know uh, appropriate adjectives with appropriate nouns uh, this exercise can be also given other parts of speech also uh, uh, such aviate uh, uh, can be made now third idea is again you are teaching english and uh, in english you are uh, teaching present indefinite tense a difficult tense of course here is a uh, 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 idea another idea you see this this uh, anybody can make it for that uh, no, no drawing teacher or fine art expert is required you know eyes nose and ear and uh, on that written sentence bank then a uh, few uh, slips or you can call uh, flash cards on which nouns and pronouns are written noun pronoun uh, they are uh, written and uh, see what happens you uh, have to cut two such uh, pieces and then join them like this this is one piece uh, like a book the, uh, the page has been turned and uh, on the other side of the uh, page uh, these uh, 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 pronouns are uh, written there and then uh, this is a hole in between and a, a, a verb is written here with a extended portion with s now this extended portion will be uh, closed uh, uh, see this uh, these are different pages on which verbs are written for instance on this page play is written on the previous page read was written so uh, you will place uh, appropriate noun or the uh, pronoun here and uh, ask the student to uh, exercise and uh, tell you whether it would be play or plays if uh, he, uh, he you will put uh, he here obviously he will extend this uh, uh, folded portion and uh, show s as well like this he walks he has uh, 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 unfolded this uh, portion on which s was written so, so this is a, a good exercise for the uh, junior classes where you can use this uh, ava uh, with uh, this uh, 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 you can use as many pages as you feel like on one page you write walk another page you write read another page you write eat what uh, and uh, so on so it would be a sort of small booklet uh, in which uh, uh, by uh, putting in appropriate uh, noun and pronoun you can make him exercise uh, whether s would be used or es would be used or uh, nothing would be used that would be an exercise for present and definite tense another idea again english grammar and in this time continuous tenses are being uh, taught little uh, i would say complicated but uh, can again be made easily by anyone take uh, three uh, cir uh, circular uh, uh, cut uh, papers of different colors this is of 11 uh, cm this is 8 cm this is 5 cm then uh, all the three should be placed uh, one up, uh, on the other uh, this was the uh, biggest one this was the second uh, uh, biggest one and this was the smallest after ke ke keeping uh, them on one another then you have to distribute them into six parts uh, not cut but you draw a line six equal parts you know 1 2 3 4 5 6 after doing that now uh, you have to write Uh, see what you have to write uh, I, on the smaller you have to write uh, uh, pronouns and on the uh, on the middle one you have to write uh, the helping verbs and on the outer one bigger one you have to write uh, a verb with ing right like this so after uh, writing that again you uh, place one on another uh, and now 
please watch uh, remember this uh, then you have to put a screw here and then uh, that uh, that is uh, screwed but it's not tightened enough the, the the circle should be able to move uh, this circle should also be able to move uh, uh, this circle should also be able to move so you can make the student exercise saying uh, with you would would it be uh, uh, am appropriate or appropriate uh, is appropriate whatever so uh, this uh, uh, student would be asked to make as many uh, sentences as they can by rotating these uh, 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 these cards circular cards and that would give them interest also that would uh, in a uh, playful manner they would learn the uh, tenses also uh, and uh, that would be a good exercise for continuous tense uh, you can uh, change this uh, uh, this uh, middle one with the uh, was were as well for past uh, continuous tense then fifth idea is about math that is counting uh, 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 0 to 99 here is uh, the uh, idea very simple again you have to uh, uh, cut two equal circular type uh, uh, cards of uh, uh, yellow color or whatever color is available to you right from 0 to 9 this one also 0 to 9 uh, this uh, below that uh, grayish color uh, this is the upper portion of uh, the uh, um, packet in which the shoes are uh, put so take that uh, uh, the uh, shutter or uh, off from that uh, packet uh, that lid from the, the, that uh, shoe and then uh, on that uh, in order to look at better you can uh, stick or glue some uh, card on that for instance this is gray paper stuck on that uh, the, the, that upper uh, lid of the, uh, the that uh, shoe box then uh, you will uh, put two screws here one and two uh, just like this this is one screw this is another screw and before putting screw you will uh, prepare a slip this whole slip with a window in it like this and then glue this uh, slip over here you will not stick it with this not with this but on the side you will stick that uh, slip this pinkish slip then you can rotate these cards and if uh, you know if, if first card if you start rotating rotating like that one would come then two come three four five six seven eight nine zero again then start rotating this this would one and zero ten then uh, uh, one up eleven two up twelve so uh, this would be an exercise uh, interesting exercise for the uh, younger kids to learn uh, from 0 to 99 now uh, we, that was non electric uh, aviate now uh, nowadays uh, we are moving on to uh, computer assisted devices and for that powerpoint slides are very common so uh, see this uh, some instruction for that please watch out that uh, the your powerpoint uh, point slides uh, they are not uh, jumbled up ideally there should be six words per line and there should be six lines that is in one line there should be six, not more than six words and, and and there should not be more than six lines because then the pe uh, people would not be able to see that properly now one uh, piece of advice here also regarding non electrical Uh, that aviates please whenever you make uh, make chart one uh, mistake which is done is that uh, the font size of the chart is not kept in mind if the class is uh, of uh, 20 students and the chart is stuck on the uh, board have very small fonts they won't be able to see that so uh, i similarly if you put some models uh, up there the model should be visible to the students down to the last row <clears throat> visual aids 
uh, they should not all be in capital letters like this it is easier to uh, it is uh, easier to read this than this which means all should not be capital letters then color scheme is very important see which colors are uh, in a good contrast otherwise your uh, slides would uh, not be uh, uh, good enough for instance this uh, uh, font color is uh, merged in the background this is uh, slightly better this is slightly better so proper uh, contrast between the font and the background should be noted see this also there are various shades of green which one would suit the best the, this is you have to decide regarding the intensity then uh, background stick with a single and simple background too many busy items uh, uh, detract from the content uh, for each slide you should not change keep on changing the background uh, that uh, is not uh, good that, that, that would distract then colors select colors that are easy on the eye for several minutes of viewing keep intense colors to minimum text size that i said also uh, earlier on so that uh, projected text should be large enough to be read by viewers headline text is normally between 36 to 44 the uh, subtext is 34 to 36 second level text is 24 to 28 and 24 is uh, normally the uh, uh, lines in bet uh, in between text size remember as text size decreases it becomes more difficult to read for individuals playback text size can be reduced to no smaller than 12 to 14 this should also be kept in mind please now uh, some example see this they if you make this slide it is not simple it is jumbled up there are too many lines too many words so not recommended visual aids not simple this is not simple visual aid although uh, you know it has moved up and down but you know it, it it doesn't look good it is not large enough so again not recommended not recommended not recommended again because the picture size is too too small this uh, writing also uh, very shabby and not clear this is uh, you this uh, dog is also merged in the background as not recommended not clear not consistent now please uh, one uh, uh, av8 which i normally show to uh, students uh, that is the aid should be according to the need of the student this av8 has been specially made for hearing impaired children as you know hearing impaired children uh, they are not that strong in uh, their receptive as as expressive language and in written language they are very weak they uh, uh, feel difficulty in comprehending here is a story of pyasa kawa ab zara isko dekhe urdu mein baat kar lete hain asli ki ye urdu ka lesson hai aur urdu ki kahani padhai ja rahi hai teesri chauthi jamaat ko pyasa kawa सो so, इसमें अब ये एवीएट बनाई गई है ये जो सात दिन का काम है ये आपको आधे घंटे में वो आप करवा लोगे और ज़्यादा इफेक्टिवली करवाओगे और बच्चे समझेंगे भी और उसको तारीफ भी करेंगे अब आप देख रहे हैं कि ये उर्दू में आप आपको पता ही है हियरिंग इम्पेयर बच्चों की मदर टंग जो है वो होती है साइन लैंग्वेज सो so, अगर आप उनको उर्दू लिखी भी हो और साइन के साथ उसके जो है ना वो साथ उसके साइन भी हो फिर आप उनको समझा भी रहे हो तो आपको ये काम जो सात दिन का है ये आपको आधे घंटे में आसानी से हो जाएगा आप देख रहे हैं प्यासा प्यासा का साइन 
कवा कवा का साइन ऊपर बना हुआ है एक का साइन बना हुआ है कवा बहुत प्यासा था वो पानी की तलाश में निकला खाली लिखा हुआ नहीं है अब ये आप सामने आप देखेंगे वो पिक्टोरल भी है वो जो चार लाइनें आपने देखी हैं चार लाइनें अभी देखी हैं ये आपने बल्कि तीन लाइनें इन तीन लाइनों में हर लाइन में चार चार लफज है लेकिन सामने यही जो जो उसने उसने को साइन लैंग्वेज में भी समझा दिया गया है और आगे उसको इसको फोटो में भी दिखाया जा रहा है एक कवा बहुत प्यासा था वो पानी की तलाश में निकला अब आप देख रहे हैं अब आपने उसके सारे सेंसेस को काम में लाया हीरिंग पेड़ बच्चे के यानी कि विजुअल तो ऑडियो तो उसका पहली इनपुट कोई नहीं है विजुअल में आपने उसको दिखाया भी है उसको समझाया भी है उसकी मदर टंग भी इस्तेमाल की है और अब इसी तरह से आप ये देखें उसको पानी का एक घड़ा नजर आया कवा घड़े के पास गया अब इसमें भी आप देखें मुश्किल से आपको तेरह लफज लिखे हुए नजर आ रहे हैं मेहनत तलब है लेकिन इससे आप देख सकते हैं कि वो जो स्पेशल नीड वाला बच्चा है उसको इसमें कितनी मदद मिलेगी कि यही चीज जो है उसको साइन लैंग्वेज में यानी उसकी मदर टाइम में भी उसको समझाई जा रही है और साथ पिक्चर के तौर पे उसको भी दिखाया भी जा रहा है यही आप आगे चलें और देखें उसने अपनी चोंच घड़े में डाली चोंच पानी तक ना पहुंच सकी ये सारे साइंस आप देख रहे हैं जो बने हुए हैं और साथ ये जो है आप वही चीज फोटो में भी पिक्टोरल में भी नजर आ रही है फिर अब अब कवे को एक तरकीब समझ में आई सिर्फ दो लाइनें आठ वर्ड्स लिखे हुए हैं विद साइन लैंग्वेज और ये तरकीब उसको समझ आ रही है जी फोटो में जी कंकर पड़े हुए हैं वो घड़े के ऊपर बैठे हुए हैं पानी नहीं पी सक रहा और तरकीब समझ आ रही है वो एक एक कंकर उठाकर लाया और घड़े में डालता गया ये देखे साथ फोटो भी लग गया वो एक एक कंकर उठा के लाया और घड़े में डालता गया थोड़ी देर में पानी ऊपर आ गया और उसने पानी पी पिया और उड़ गया यानी आपने एक पावर पॉइंट का सही इस्तेमाल करते हुए उसकी नीड के मुताबिक बच्चे की नीड के मुताबिक आपने लेसन तैयार किया और उस लेसन से आपके इतना अफेक्टिव था लेसन कि आपने एक हफ्ते का जो काम करवाना था वो I hope you would like this video and this would be beneficial to you please share it with your colleagues and if you have not subscribe please do it so that the future uh, videos can reach you and you get the notification thank you very much